Welcome. Come on in. Come on in for a word of encouragement. Global greetings. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. Whenever and wherever you're tuning in, welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Today I'll be talking about wisdom out of James Riddles, God's Promises. So come on in and take a moment to just relax right where you're at and invite the Lord into your presence. Now last week I talked about finding something that you could do for someone that uh, would bless them. Take a moment to just because it's Holy Week to help them, uh, you know, uh, bring them some joy into their life. And so this morning I am grateful for unexpected, unexpected angelic voices. And let me explain that. On Saturday I was prompted by the Holy Spirit, still had not done my good deed uh, that, you know, I had given everyone an assignment, but yet I had not done the good deed myself for someone. But prompted by the Holy Spirit, I called uh, my neighbor to check up on her. I thought that was going to be my deed, but it actually turned out that she wanted to go to church service. Hasn't been there because of the pandemic. She's 89 years old and just got vaccinated. So she has been staying at home, sheltering at home, but been doing online services. And she wanted to be a part of, uh, you know, actual services in one of the uh, local churches. So I, I took her there. They had social distancing, so that wasn't a problem. But I was blessed by taking her to church. I had never, as, as a choir started to sing, I'm, I love to sing. And I'm, everybody that knows me knows that, um, you know, um, I, I, I don't sing well. However... When I was singing, I, all of a sudden I heard this beautiful angelic voice I've never heard before, and it was coming from her. I had never heard her sing before, and it just blessed me. So I am grateful for unexpected angelic voices, and so that is what I'm grateful for today. In the comments down below, drop down in the comments down below what you're grateful for. Again, come on in for a word of encouragement. Gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for all you do. We thank you for the sacrifice on the cross. We thank you that you redeemed us, Lord. We thank you that we have eternal life because you have resurrected, Lord. You have won the victory over the cross. Lord, as we sit here and read your word, may make this a teachable moment for us. Inscribe the words onto our hearts so when you ask, we step out in bold faithfulness and share the word with others. Lord, thank you for unexpected angelic voices. What a blessing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Again, wisdom and grab your Bibles. I will be reading from 1 King and then also from 2 Chronicles. Wisdom, James Riddle. God was wisdom and he gave wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to those who reverence him. If you have deep referential sense of trust and accountability to him, then you are in on the springboard of all wisdom. That, that means that you know that God is great and awesome in power and majesty. You know that he is faithful and true and worthy of all praise and adoration. That means that you have decided to take him at his word no matter what the circumstances look like. It means that you know and accept his his knowledge and vastly superior to yours, and he knows what needs to be done much more than you do. You know that his word makes your, you wiser than your enemies, and even the teachers and the philosophers that the world has also admires. You never say such foolish things as, I know God promised that, but you are a child of, of God, of the God, of all wisdom, and you trust your Heavenly Father regardless of what your eyes see and your ears hear or what is going on around you. You trust Him and receive His wisdom willingly. You know beyond any shadow of doubt that He is causing you to walk in that wisdom every day of your life. Let's turn to 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 12 and I'm going to be reading from New um, International Version. The Lord gave Solomon wisdom just as he had promised. 
there were peaceful relations between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. So our declaration for today, the Lord has given me wisdom, common sense, and extensive knowledge, and I have peace on every side. Let's turn over to 2 Chronicles, and we're going to go to chapter 9, verse 22 through 23 from the Amplified Bible is where I'm reading this time, 2 Chronicles chapter 9, verses 22 and 23. King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom, and all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his hands. Our declaration as an heir of the kingdom of God. I have promise of riches and wisdom. People notice the wisdom that God has placed in my mind and they seek me and they seek my presence for understanding. What a beautiful promise that is, a promise of wisdom. Beloved brothers and sisters, I never like to leave my broadcast without asking you to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Maybe perhaps you've never known him. Today's the day to get to know him or you backsided. It's an opportunity to come back out home. Gracious God, just repeat after me. I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me, and by his blood, I am forgiven. Lord, I ask you to come into my life. Give me a new heart and take control of it, Lord. Take total control of my new heart. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you if you prayed that prayer. And if you're not sure what to do after praying that prayer, well, leave me a comment down below or send me a direct message and I will reach out to you. And we'll take a look at churches in your area that you can join to continue to grow in your believer's journey. I want to remind you, beloved brothers and sisters, that God cares about us. He loves us and he walks with us. All we have to do is acknowledge him. Until next time, be blessed.